All right. First and foremost, I call our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Rukakwadash, the Melodists of the Elders, and the Apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace and salutation to you, brothers out there, pushing this truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. It's the brother Gabaria from the Indiana camp. Come back at you again with another sit down. So basically, uh, do a response video to um the um, the brothers from uh, Des Moines, um in particular um the brother uh, Matati and the brother uh, Yeshaya. Uh, uh, basically, they had made an, um a video talking about um I can't exactly remember exactly what was the word uh, the title, but uh it was basically being being comfortable. With being uncomfortable, all right. I think that's what the brother Matati actually said in the video. We have to be comfortable to be uncomfortable, in, in, in uncomfortability, all right. So basically, it was just basically the video was about like, listen, just because the Lord put hell on us, just because the Lord has us going through things, doesn't mean our work should diminish. Which means what? Well, what is our works? Believing in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahusha, doing um the videos, uh, going to uh, going to the camp. You know, doing live shows, all that. That shouldn't diminish just because the Lord put hell on us, man. Matter of fact, before I read this, I'm going to get uh, uh, a scripture that Job said. I wish I'd bear with me for a minute. This is Job 13 and 15. It says, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own way before him. All right. See, so it says what? Though he slay me, yet will my trust yet will I will I trust in him, which means what, man? Though the Lord puts hell upon him, everybody everybody knows the story of Job, man, how much hell Job catch. All right. But it says what? Though though he slay me, though the Lord put hell upon us, yet our trust shall remain in the Lord, man. Just because the Lord put hell on us doesn't mean the Lord doesn't love us so much, man. Matter of fact, actually, it's the it's the polar opposite. The Lord put so much hell on us because He loves us so much. All right, that's the that's the real that's the reason why the Lord put the the, the hell and and, and the tribulations because He what the Lord wants us to uh, be perfect in His eyes, man. And this is what's making us perfect. All right, so. We have an um, we have a, a a comfort though, man. Our comfort is the scriptures, okay. That's what we use for our comfortability, man. We read these scriptures, we be into the word, we study, we pray, we fast. That's what we use for our comfort, man. That's what we use for our peace of mind, man. As it says in the book of Isaiah, it says, "Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time, man." That's gonna keep us stable. That's gonna keep us sane when every when all hell break loose, when we ain't gonna have no other comfortability. We ain't gonna have the we ain't gonna have the joy of eating. We're not gonna have the joy of playing the game. We're not gonna have the joy of watching TV, watching movies, being around brothers, having sex with your woman. We're not gonna have the comfortabilities no more, man. The only comfortability we're gonna have is having this, uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah and doubt it unto us, man. All right. So without further ado, this is um uh Sirach chapter four verse eleven. It says, "Wisdom exalt her children and lay hold on them that seek her. He that loveth." He that loveth her love life, and they that seek to, and they it's like a, and and they that to seek her early shall be filled with joy. All right, now you see that as soon as they they, they start off the scripture, what what wisdom exalted herself, and she, and they lay up them that seek her, and then it just start comparing wisdom into a woman. All right, because that's what that basically wisdom is compared to a woman, because that's how much you should want you should want wisdom, man, just as much as you want a woman, man. Cause me personally, I, I I'm I'm always not well not always, but I'm always uh, uh um uh, uh uh um seeking after a woman, man. All right, a woman is like especially me, me being young. I'm only 23 years old. Elder Apostle uh, Ricard actually told me he actually told me and my brother because we're the same age. He said, "Hey man, y'all y'all in the stage where y'all can't just yeah, it's it's almost impossible to stop thinking about a woman." You know, them young ages when you like what uh four uh fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenties, your early twenties, going on to your uh, mid twenties, late twenties. That's all you can do uh, can do is thinking about a woman, man. All right. So I I I ain't, I ain't I'm not gonna sit here sit here and say I don't think about a woman a lot. I think about a woman pre, uh pretty much, man. But guess what? I should be just, I should be that much more eager to think about uh these scriptures and think about you how about shimmy out shot too, man. All right. Now I'm not saying older men don't think about women. They just don't think about women as much as younger men. But nevertheless, as much as a man want a woman, as much as a man wants a box, guess what? He he should he he should want wisdom. He should want this truth just as much as he want that woman. 
All right. That's why they compare uh, wisdom as as to a woman. All right. It says, um, they that serve her. It's like I skipped the verse. It says he that holdeth her fast. It says he that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory, and whosoever she entered, the Lord will bless. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One, and them that love her, the Lord doth love. Whoso giveth ear unto unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attend unto her shall dwell secretly. It says if a man commit if a man commit himself unto her, he shall commit her, and his generation shall hold her in position. Possession, Slaki. For for at at for at the first Will she walk with him by crooked ways? Which means what? She's gonna bring hell upon you, man. When you first, when you first get, um, when you first get that woman, when you first get this wisdom, when you first get this truth, guess what? You're gonna go through crooked ways, man. You're gonna go through hell. Just don't think it's no easy walking. Don't think it's just no light, easy walk, man. No, you're gonna go through hell. Matter of fact, a quick testimony. When I first came into the truth, I had to hold the camera. I just, I, I came straight onto the camera, and you gotta think, I was what, 14 at the time. So, the first time I came to the truth. I went straight to the camera, and the, and the camp lead at the time, he made me hold the camera basically all the time. So, I, and it was one winter, I mean, we, me and my dad, we kind of got into the, the towards the, um, towards the, uh, the, the, the summer-wise, it was, uh, I think the summer of 2000, um, either 2009 or 2010, I'm not 100% sure at this, at this moment, but, um, we came in through the summer, and then that winter, we our camera our camera stand just broke, so I had to hold the camera all through winter. We didn't get a new camera stand until spring, and I had to hold it with, with literally one hand, like with one hand without no gloves. I couldn't have no gloves on because the, the camera was real small. And I had to have it was only enough room for for me to put my hand through, and yeah, my hand would get freezing bitter cold. You know, sometimes I have to switch hands and hold it on the other hand a little bit to warm up my other hand. I had to keep switching. I probably switch it maybe. 15 to 20 times uh, uh every camp all right and this and this is when we used to camp like for a good maybe four to five hours all right when we you know back in the 2009 and 2010 you know we had to camp for a good four to five hours man you know so but i but me but when i i didn't really look at it at the time i just looked at it like hey i gotta come out here and do this either i'm, I'm on camera or i'm not man now later on and in, 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 later on when i was older getting older in the truth i looked at it like wow that's crazy you know that was my trial right there the lord was probably seeing me like look at this i'm some i'm, I'm, I'm a 14 year old i could be having my i could be enjoying my saturday with some female with some of my friends or something but i'm out here doing this in a bitter cold suffering for the lord man you know and that was my first winter. I wasn't even the truth for a whole year yet. I could have easily said, you know what, man? Forget this. I ain't doing this, man. Y'all got to get a new camera. Until y'all get a new camera stand, I'm gone. No, man. There was not one. I, I, I want to say there was not one. There was not one day I, I missed from uh, that whole entire winter, man. I was there, man. And, and, and that, that was the quicker way I had to walk, you know? And of course, it didn't just stop there. It came more and more and more. But hey, that that's just I. That's one thing I vividly remember every single time I, I read the scripture. Every single time, it's like, hey, you're gonna go through hell when you come into this thing. It wasn't a whole. I want to say it wasn't even a whole six months yet. And boom, uh, the hell hit, man. You know. It says, um, uh, it's like I lost my place. Oh, here it says, and bring fear and dread upon him, and torment her with her discipline. It says until she trusts his soul. And try him by her laws. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. It says for it says, but but if he, he but if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruins, which means what? Whatever you whatever you fell out of his truth of, whatever you lusted more over than over her, guess what? The Lord's gonna give you over to that man. You have to lust over him. You have to be. You have to be. Uh, uh, um. Uh. You have to be gawking over uh, uh, this wisdom, man. All right. Is it not say that we are the Lord's um wife and He is our husband, man? All right. Now, how does it, how how would the Lord feel if you if you all up into your game, your PlayStation, your Xbox, your 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 computer games? <laughs> you all into your woman. You know she gets all your time. You know. And if you'll be and if you're and, and let me say this, if you're in a man of, if you're a man of the Lord, guess what? The Lord's gonna remove that from you. The Lord is gonna remove that 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 what's blocking you from him, man. Alright? He's gonna remove that. 
if you think your game is more important than the Lord and you playing it 24-7, you always on that game, you always doing this, you always, guess what? The Lord is going to remove that. And, he's, and, 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 and it's up to his decision if he wants to give it back to you or not when you're ready, you know? But if it, whatever's in your way between the Lord, guess what? The Lord is going to remove it, all right? I've seen it happen. It happens to me multiple times, all right? It says, um... Not saying I'm, you know, not saying I'm, I'm an elect. I'm like, oh, well, you saying yo, it happened to you? You must be thinking you would elect me. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I've seen it happen to me. I can, I have testimony saying, oh yeah, I remember I was giving something too much to the Lord, and the Lord completely removed it. I had to watch myself. Sometimes the Lord would give it back to me, but other times, hey, Lord, just they, I had to chalk, chalk it up as a loss. You know, I had it for a little bit. Hey, I was giving it too much attention, more than the Lord. I wasn't doing my sit downs. I wasn't praying as much. I wasn't uh, listening to videos. I, 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 I lost it. You know, the Lord took it from me, and it's and it's every single time the Lord took it from me, I always think of the Lord. There was there was some reason the Lord took this from me. What happened? Was I doing enough videos? Was I doing this? Was I doing that? You know. Verse eighteen, no, verse nineteen. It says, "But if he go wrong, he will, she she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruins." Observe the opportunity, and and beware of evil, and be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul, for there is a shame that bringeth sin, and there is a shame that and there is a shame which is glory and grace. Accept no person against thy soul. Let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fail, and refrain not to speak. When there, when there is occasion to do good, and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty, for by speech wisdom shall be known, and learn by, learn by the the word of the tongue, word by the word of the tongue, and that's basically getting into something else. But um, I want to get this one. This is, uh, I'm going to start from this one since they're in the same chapter. This is uh, John chapter 8, verse 32. It says, I'm going to start from 31. And Yahweh Shah, to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye know, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. See, so what? Because the truth shall make you free from all these other doctrines, all these uh, affliction of the minds, man. You're going to be okay because what? You're going to have a solution. You're going to have a hope. All right. You have a, you have you have the solution to every single thing upon this planet Earth. That is that I ain't going to say that's even rare. That's one in a, in in, a, in, a, in an infinity, man. We have the solution to every single thing on this planet Earth. Your taxes do do. You don't know how to pay your taxes. You don't want to pay your taxes. Because guess what? This place is going to be destroyed soon. That's a solution. I'm catching too much hell. I don't know how to take care of my kids. Guess what? If the Lord be for it and you be part of the elect, your kids is going to be saved. If not, you're going to get them back in the kingdom. That's a solution. We have the answer to every single thing, man. And it's all through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. That is the solution. It's going through him, doing his work. Knowing the outcome of this, this coming world, man. All right? It says, they answered him. It says we. It says we be Abraham's seed, and and were, and were never in bond in bondage to any man. How saith thou, ye shall be free? So they understand. 
This is Yahweh Shah answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever commits sin is a servant to sin. All right. Now it's already written in the book of Romans. It says what the the, the law shall be, have dominion over man as long as he liveth, man. But guess what? If you subject your body into sin, guess what? You you subject your members into you're a subject to that which you serve your members to, man. Just like us, man. If we serve, if we if we put subject our our members under subjection unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, then we're servants unto under Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, man. All right. It says, and the servant abide not in the house forever. But the son, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be freed indeed. I know that I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I I I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Abraham is our father. Yahweh shall said unto them. If ye were Ab if you were Abraham's seed, ye would do the works of Abraham, which what Abraham was a righteous man. He did the works of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. It says, but now it says, but now ye seek to kill me, a man that have told you the truth, which I have heard of Yahweh, and did not Abraham. See, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is just speaking facts, you know. But if you speak too many facts, Jake's get mad, man. If you're not speaking what's common knowledge to Jake. Which means what? Oh, oh, this dude says this, this, this and, and basically what's not appeasing to Jake? Jake like love what? Prosperity, education, military, job. Uh, 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 Jake real or oh, it's like damn that almost every Jake is is going hog off that education. Get your education. Get your education. Get your education. That's like Jake one oh all my lord. I can never not hear enough. Every ever since I was like a teenager. Every old, every middle, every, I've heard that everywhere. Get your education. Nobody can never take an education. But they don't understand. Hey, this is the real education right here, man. All right? Not no not no degree that Esau gives you because you passed a couple of his tests. No, man. They talking about no one can take that away from you. Guess what? The Lord can. The Lord can take you away from it. Hey, there's there's probably geniuses. There, there's probably people with four to five degrees in the same, that's, that's same society, man. In the same asylum, I don't know how to say it, but you know, in the same, in the same house, man. This probably these people would probably doctor degrees. That's murderers and killers, right? And you talking about nobody can take that away. Hey, the Lord, that's a powerful statement, man. Nobody can take that away from you. The Lord can, and the Lord will, you know. So, Lord, I mean, that's basically all I want to bring upon that man. Just hey, when it's when it's. When you're most uncomfortable, man, that's the time you should serve the Lord at the utmost, man. Because that's the Lord. That's when the Lord's looking at you, man. Are you gonna do right by me when you're not comfortable? When you're not uh, 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 in in your own bed? When you're not in your own house? You know, when you don't have your own car? When you don't have a job? When you're down and out? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna try to do it yourself? Are you gonna try to say, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do this? Or do, are you gonna pray fast and, and, and sup unto me and have me work it out for you? <laughs> so, Lord willing, I hope this video is edifying for a few brothers out there. Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua, Bashem, Rakakodash, and the blinded elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Inshallah.